that line of storms that came roaring through here producing a whopping 80 tornadoes in just 24 hours hit Missouri again gutting homes eastward in Kentucky and Indiana. It flipped mobile homes, ripped the roof off of homes. Uh, clearly there has been no mercy in the Midwest from this weather. Oh my God! Overnight, a massive line of powerful thunderstorms and twisters, with nearly 900 reports of severe weather, including baseball-sized hail around St. Louis and winds more than 90 miles per hour in Mount Vernon, Indiana. Heavy rain and hail pounded Memphis overnight, and in Sedalia, Missouri, as many as 25 people suffered minor injuries when a tornado hit several businesses and homes. Here in Joplin, the recovery process from the EF5 tornado that devastated this city is underway. We've seen the tragedy from the ground, now a new perspective from the sky. As if a colossal eraser wiped away a six-mile strip of the earth in downtown Joplin. Here's the city before and again after. Before and again after. And for the first time, these new images taken inside St. John's Hospital, where almost 400 patients and staff rode out the storm. Treatment rooms, the main entrance area, and the admittance area gutted. But the shock of this terror is now giving way to frustration. Hundreds lined up for permits to access their own homes, cordon off destruction zone. Some genius decided that these permits are only good for two days, so now we're going to have to repeat this process every two days. It's kind of uh, nerve-wracking, you know, I feel like a lot of people are, are burning daylight, sunshine, you know, and you just can't get into your home. That rule was canceled after the outcry, but to many Jones, this apocalyptic mess doesn't feel like home anymore. I don't know where we're going. My daughter says she's ready to leave too. I've been to hell and back and I don't want to go back. Others don't feel like they have a choice. Travis Blizzard has been here his whole life, and he'll stay. My grandma lives up there, my aunt and uncle live over there, my cousins live over there, it's all gone, so rebuilding right now is the hardest question.